Hi, everybody. I'm Linda Bell Reed, and I, like almost everyone else, is a mixed media artist. I paint predominantly in acrylic. Um, and I also use collage. I use graphite, uh, pastels, really pretty much anything that works with acrylic, you'll find in my studio. <laughs> so, um, and I love that about creating art. And I just want to say, I absolutely love creating art. It is like the most exciting thing in the world to me. I love the studio experience of it that you get to explore how you feel about things, explore what you like, what you don't like. I love the continual learning that comes with being an artist. I love that it's left brain and right brain um, to be able to bring a piece together. You have to use both sides of your brain so you feel like you're fully engaged, fully alive. So I love the whole studio experience. But the really cool thing too, is that after you've had this wonderful experience with this painting, sometimes it could be a little bit aggravating, but at the end, when it's finally finished, you have, you have this journey that you've been on with the painting and you also have an artifact of that journey, which is so fun and so cool. Mm -hmm. And it kind of takes on a life of its own. And then other people can see it and they can interpret it the way they want to interpret it and they can interact with it the way they want to interact with it and you kind of just release it but it has a little bit of you in it that goes goes with it so i just think that's so cool <laughs> and i just wanted to share that with you but um this painting and the next two that um i'll show you i'm sharing three are part of a um, series that i'm working on uh called gathered blooms and I love flowers. I have always loved flowers. And I love the act of gathering flowers together. Um, I can remember when my mother was alive, one of the most favorite things I love to do was in the spring in Florida when all the wildflowers are on the sides of the road. When I would go see my mother, she lived a couple hours away, I would always stop and pick wildflowers and bring her a bundle of wildflowers. And it, she just loved it. So I love that that feeling of gathering up things that are beautiful and bringing them to yourself. So that includes gathering people like tonight. This is really fun for me to be able to be with everybody and then gathering flowers and gathering other things that you love, gathering your family together. So this series is kind of all about that. So this is the first one. It's a 24 by 24 yeah. gallery wrapped canvas. Um, it has, you can't really see it in this photograph, but it has a tremendous amount of texture because it has a lot of fabric in the underlayers. Oh so really I use netting cool. and I use lace. So when you see it in person, um, you can really see that texture and it, it adds interest to it. But I had a lot of I fun. didn't know there was fabric under there. Mm -hmm. that's, mm -hmm. that's cool. I think there's about eight or 10 paintings under there. Actually, you know, I would think I was finished and then I'd say, no, let me do some more. So there's a lot of texture. This is my most textured piece right now. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I like how there's um, the black and white, you know, the dark and the light on either mm -hmm. side. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to um, ask if you're, if you're not, if you want to ask a question, please do. But if not, maybe keep your, um, Keep your uh, self muted because we are hearing some background noise from some, I'm not sure from who, but so if you can just mute yourself and then unmute yourself if you have a question, I'd appreciate it. Okay, are you uh, ready for the next one, I Linda? Am. I'm ready for the next okay. one. Okay, thank you. Okay. So this one, unlike the one you saw before, has less layers of paint. And it actually came to be um, at the end of a painting session um, where I had been painting almost all day. And I had all these colors on my palette and I looked outside, it was an autumn day. I looked outside and I just was so excited by what I saw. And then I looked down at my palette and I saw these colors and I just took that feeling and put it on the, on the canvas pretty much in one session which doesn't often happen for me, <laughs> but it looks a little wild. That's why it's called wild one. But I love the feeling of it because I remember how I felt that day. And also it has that feeling of gathered, you know, I love gathered blooms in a vase. Um, 
And so I really like this painting a lot. I love those pink flowers. They're so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's so many colors inside the pink. It's not just. Well, and that was the thing. See, I started with a palette that I had been working off of all day. So the colors were all mixed together and they had a lot, there was a lot of water on the palette, you know, so it was just really fun to paint. And um, I love how, I do like how it turned out. It's really vibrant. It's a uh, 30 by 24 and it's also a gallery wrap canvas. And then this one is called Allegro. And I actually painted this one from a photograph of um, a bouquet, like an arm bouquet of pink roses. And it had some other flower blooms in it too, but I just loved the way it looked. And so I wanted to abstract the photo so that you weren't, or I wasn't as an artist fixated on the roses themselves, but more the feeling of the bouquet. And it was very vibrant and beautiful. And so that's what I tried to put to the canvas. This one has a lot of layers as well. It has collage papers. It has papers that I painted myself and papers that were pre-printed, pre excuse me. Um, I think you see the checker board looks like it's pre-printed, um, but most of the other collage papers are, um, are mono prints that I printed. It has a lot of graphite in it and a lot of charcoal as well. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, 24 by 18. And it is also a gallery wrapped canvas. So thank y'all so much for joining us because um, it just means so much to each of us. And um, we really appreciate y'all being here. The, the comments are that this is very joyful work and the line work is really excellent. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, yeah, it is joyful. <laughs> and that you said that's what Allegro means? Allegro. Yeah. And I used to be a ballet dancer, so I love music okay. and I love tempos okay. and, and all uh -huh. that type of thing. And Allegro is fast paced, happy. Okay. Um, okay. It was always the toughest dance because to learn because it was the fastest. Yeah. yeah.